everyone welcome back to my channel today i am doing a dorm tour which sounds very childish to say but i'm doing a dorm tour of my graduate housing situation here at stanford university i'm honestly very pleasantly surprised by my my room it's basically a studio apartment which is what i had last year when i lived in philly and it's the same size if not bigger so just that alone is you know we're off to a good start I will say um, this house is probably about 75% a home. We're not quite 100% there yet. I still have some, you know, some finishing touches to put on, but I'm all unpacked. I, I have all of my furniture situated. I have some decor up. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you guys what we're working with. So this is the front door. We walk into my kitchen. Pretty modern, I'd say, except for the white appliances. It's also a lot more spacious than it looks. All of these cabinets and stuff, they all have so many shelves. I'm not using most of this space. I'll just go ahead and show you. Okay, I have some mixing bowls in there, but... I'm also just not tall enough to use that top, that top shelf, so it's a good thing that I don't need it yet. I'm also in that like awkward phase where I don't have a lot of groceries yet. Look at that mug my bestie got me. But anyway, yeah, this, this cabinet is a little bit embarrassing. It's all Trader Joe's, just random stuff. I do have a lot more counter space than I had last year, which I am very happy about. I still don't have a dishwasher, but that's, you know, not super surprising standard you know one of these stoves and an oven i don't have a microwave i threw it away when i moved last year and i'm just kind of hoping that i can live with that one because i don't want to buy another one both because i don't want to spend money and also because like i don't want to take up this counter space the hardest thing for me has been like i'll make a hot drink with like this kettle that i have and then it'll be too hot to drink and I'll let it sit and then it'll be too cold and I don't have a microwave. So once I get out of the habit of that, I think I'll be okay. And then I have my freezer situation. Um, clearly, I only have the priorities there. Same with the fridge, it's largely empty. I just, you know, I'm, I'm just, it's just me here. So <laughs> that's where I keep my laundry detergent, extra paper towels, cause there's just, you know all these drawers like so much of this is empty i do have like that kind of stuff in here but i didn't have this much kitchen space last year so i'm not used to having to fill all this but also i live by myself so i don't need that much stuff then i have this cute little kitchen rug it's from target and then if we turn around we have this dresser um, it was in my closet, but I'll show you my closet in a minute. It was taking up too much space in there. I have a lot of clothes and I just wanted to be able to maximize my co my closet space. And this was actually six high, um, but all of the drawers are removable, which I really appreciated. So it's four now and it's kind of like this desk thing that I walk by every morning. I can take one of my good luck rocks, put on some jewelry, spray some perfume, use hand sanitizer when I get back in. I just like this area, it's very functional. And then of course I have one of my plants over here. And then this mirror for a last minute, you know, check in. And then I have this hook where I keep my keys. Um, this door locks automatically, which I'm not used to. Last year I had a code on my door, so it's very important that I don't forget my keys, so I need it in my line of vision every time I leave the house. And then there's this phone here, which I really don't know what it's for. It rang yesterday, actually, and I answered, and they were like, is this Isabel? And I was like, no. And they're like, oh, okay. So um, right now I'm just using it as a, as a purse hook. Yeah, and that's where I keep the trash that I don't feel like throwing away yet. Anyway, so now we're gonna move into my main room. Okay, we'll start with the bedroom area. This is my bed. I actually, I don't know, I'm kind of vibing with this like messy made up look. I'm trying to make my bed every morning. We're gonna see how long that lasts, but it works better for me if like it's supposed to look a little bit messy and that's what that's going for. I like the hint of green peeking out there. 
I like that you can see the green behind the pillows. I just, I love those sheets. I got them from Amazon. And then I have my little birth chart star map thing above my bed that my sister got me. I love that. I don't have it forever. And then my rug, which has been with me for the past year or so. I just love this rug. It makes, it makes everything just look classier and I'm obsessed. And then behind my bed, I have this television book stand area sort of thing. A big difference from last year, I cannot watch TV from my bed, but I'm I'm trying to like not make that a thing. I'm trying to make my bed only for sleeping, so that just, it helps <laughs> in the worst of ways. Yeah, obviously I'm like, I'm trying to become a new person this year. We're gonna see how well that works. But then I have my books. I only have like 10% of them because I couldn't fit the rest of the boxes in my car. So I got creative with how I was filling this space. My ukulele, obviously a plant, gavel. It's cute. I feel like it's it's with the color scheme. So I, I don't know, I like it. It's just, it's different. Opposite my TV, where I actually watch TV, is on this couch. And let me tell you guys, this couch, it's its cute, right? It was a struggle. Obviously, there was a couch cover on this because it came with like the standard ugly, like greenish brown couch. And I was like, that's just not going to work for me. However, when I ordered this couch cover, I didn't realize that like the cushions would have individual covers and I only got two cushions, but there are three on my couch. So this blanket is so politely hiding the fact that that is totally messed up, okay? I don't have a, a cover for that cushion, so it's just, it's just with the rest of the couch cover. But if I put this blanket over it, you could hardly even tell, look at that. I don't know when slash if I will ever be having guests over here. For now, it's just me and it doesn't matter that that looks like that. Anyway, above my couch, I have my artwork. I got that at Ikea. And uh, when I got it, I didn't even realize that the artist's name on it is Zoe just like me. So that is like super cute, super fun. And I just loved the flowers, the green. I'm realizing my favorite color is kind of green and pink, so uh. And then I have this that I also got at Ikea. All of my artwork that I had in Philly, I left in the Northeast, so it's really annoying, but I got some things to fill the wall space. Then my camera that doesn't work, it's just for show. I made this little reading corner, which I actually love. I love that there's a chair there. I love this light situation. My hat obviously is one of my favorite pieces of decoration. And then I have the matching piece to that other piece of art. And I just like to sit there, drink some tea, read, work on my laptop. It's just, it's a very relaxing little corner. I'm trying to make all of my spaces like four different things this, this year. So hopefully like, I don't know, just channel energy when I want to channel certain energy, which is hard to do in a studio, but I'm trying to make it work couches for watching tv eating not doing anything serious this is for like somewhere in between maybe i'm reading a book maybe i'm doing some light work blah blah whatever and then my desk is for like actual work or as you can see now um buying telfar i'm currently in line i just got this double monitor um a couple days ago and I honestly don't know how I lived this long without one. It's literally, it's such a necessity. I got it because when I started working on my law review stuff, I just had to have way too many tabs up at the same time and it was driving me insane on this little tiny laptop screen, which I'm now is like, how is that even functional? But being able to use both of these, amazing. Then I have my iPad, which is mostly for fun these days, not gonna lie. And then this mirror, it was supposed to be a desk mirror, but that's me. I need something to like set it in, you know, I need to set just like that so I can look at myself before my little Zoom meetings or whatever. We're still working on that. And then my speaker and then my to-do list, which I try to write in every day and cross things off just to stay organized, you know? And then I have this candle, which was a gift and I love it. It's literally so pretty. This is the prettiest candle I have. It says, love brought you here by James Baldwin. And it smells so good. And then I have this fan. So fun facts that I didn't know in California, I guess air conditioning, they just don't do that at least not in norcal but i have um a heater but it only works from november through april and and until then like i just 
I'm supposed to just go with the weather, I guess, which is fine during the day. Like, I love keeping my window open. I love fresh air. But at night, like, I have to be a little cold. So what I'll usually do is I'll put this fan in this window and just have it blowing the cold air in. And that's working out pretty well so far. Speaking of my window, um, it doesn't have a screen, which I thought was like normal, but then I walked past some buildings and I was like, everyone has a screen except me. And so I went to the housing people and they were like, oh yeah, you should have one, just make a request. So I was like, okay. I mean, I do kind of like how <laughs> open it is, like that's kind of exciting to me, but I don't like that if I'm cooking or something, bugs smell it and then they want to come in here. That's rude. So I keep that bug spray there and I spray the window every now and then, but it's not really working. And then I have my little plants. This one died on the road trip out here. It did so well up until the very last day when we got to Las Vegas. Vegas was so ridiculously hot and this thing literally just like, it could not deal. So I'm trying to make it grow back, but we're gonna see. I thrifted these curtains and they're just one of my favorite pieces ever. In the morning, they like make flower shadows i mean you, you can set, kind of see them now but it's just it's so cute and then this is where i'll keep my like books i only have one right now also this lamp is also from ikea i love that lamp it's so adorable and i love that you just pull the string that's so fun and then this nightstand everything that's like tan honestly all of the furniture came with the room and that's where i keep all my like you know night stuff journal medicine bonnet whatever and then i have a desk drawer as well this bookshelf was originally on top of the desk like as a back header type thing but i knew that i wanted to, to be a tv stand and i also didn't want it blocking like the window or anything the desk was also originally over there but i wanted my desk facing the window so that if i'm in a zoom meeting or something the light is coming on me or just like if i'm working all day i want like to be facing the window just less depressing to me okay so now we have the closet first of all i do like that these doors are sliding this is all of the, you know, hanging space, very typical. And then I have my shoes, some accessories, my broom, because I don't have like a pantry closet thing. Yeah, all my shoes are down there. And then I keep my sweaters and just random stuff up there. So like I was saying earlier, the dresser originally was taking up like this quarter of the closet, which would have been fine if I had less clothes that needed to be hanged but it just would have been a lot more smush if i kept that in there so i like it better over there anyway for those functions that i was talking about earlier yeah that's my closet and last we have the bathroom this bathroom is way bigger and more functional than my bathroom was last year so super grateful about that this is where the other two drawers went that i was saying i took off of this thing because this would have been too high if I kept all six on here. So I brought two to the bathroom. I have a drawer for like, you know, socks, underwear, whatever. And then I have like my towels and stuff in the bottom drawer. The shower is just a normal shower. I can take a bath if I want to. So that's nice. I need to get like a caddy of sorts. And then I actually have two places to hang my towels. I have this hook thing. And then I also have one behind the door. And then I have under the sink storage space, which in my opinion is a must in a bathroom, but so many bathrooms don't have that, especially in the Northeast. I have way more space than I need, but I much prefer that everywhere, you know, has some wiggle room. Oh, I got this bar soap yesterday. I love a bar soap. It's been a recent like thing of mine. So I need to get a, a holder, but I don't even really use it to wash my hands. I more so use it like as that eyebrow trick. You know the one I'm talking about. And I also just think it's pretty and it smells good for it to just be sitting out there. And it looks like it's decoration. I love bar soap. And then I have my soap, regular soap that I actually use to wash my hands. Lotion, lavender oil, candle. So yeah, that is the bathroom. I also wanted to show you guys what it looks like at night because I really like this light situation and I wanted to tell you that my room is very soundproof. I'm on the end of the hallway and I'm right next to a hallway air conditioning unit so it's really loud outside which means I can play my music as loud as I want and it literally you can't hear it outside so that's great that is pretty much everything i'm still looking for a few things to fill out the walls in some places i might just wait so i can get my decorations and my frames back from 
my Philly apartment. I also would love to have something on this desk. Maybe something to like hold these would be cute. Yeah, you know, there's just little stuff here and there, but that comes with living in a place. I'm sure it'll change. It'll become more homey, but I think I'm off to a nice start. Let me know what you think in the comments. It was cheaper to live here than it was to like get my own apartment. Um, that's just how California rent is. So I'm very grateful. It's still expensive, don't get me wrong. It's like $2,200 for a studio apartment. But I live on campus, it's safe, I can park right outside, and all this furniture came with it. So it was worth it, given my options. Okay, um, if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Please like this video if you enjoyed it, and I will see you very soon for my first week at Stanford.